Hey, it's Molly again from Saros. By now, you already know why your company needs interactive content. It's time to get your colleagues to see the light. Because you'll want to get everyone as stoked about interactive content as you are. Is that an easy process? Nope, not always. Is it worth it? Yes, always. And we'll show you why. To get started, pick someone who you know will benefit from better content. The more senior, the better. At least senior enough to influence the budget. Let's call that person a stakeholder. That's a term people like to throw around a lot. Once you have at least one stakeholder on board, it's time to go on your quest. Identify allies across the business who share your vision and can make it happen. The best place to start? The dev team. This may seem intimidating, but it's crucial to get them on board early. When developers start to ask questions, it's usually in the best interests of protecting your company's online presence. Basically, they don't want your interactive content to create a mess that they'll have to clean up. You can make this conversation easier by anticipating their concerns. Depending on the type of company you work at, that could cover a number of different topics. Security, compatibility, accessibility, and so forth. Once all of their tech concerns are addressed, your next stop is the marketing team. Marketing loves talking about storytelling, so tell them a story. Tell them how interactive content can help your brand look better and increase the number of leads. The Content Marketing Institute has already looked into this, and they found that 81% of marketers agree that interactive content holds the attention of audiences better than static content. Interactivity hooks viewers right away and keeps them on your content longer. Now for the fun part, convincing the rest of the C-suite. Winning over the executive team is not always easy. They ask tough questions, so come prepared. Maybe you've heard the term cost-benefit analysis. This is exactly what they wanna see. What's it gonna cost? And what's it gonna do for their bottom line? Get right to the point and show them the numbers. And if that isn't enough, show them the interactive content your competitors are doing. That should get them to see the light. Now, you need to get the creative team on board. Of course, there are a few ways to create interactive content using an agency, an in-house developer, or a no-code content platform. If you decide on a no-code tool, the design team gets to own that creative process end-to-end. -end. So what's in it for them? Well, they get to create some cool stuff. Also, no more complicated handoffs with developers, no more compromising their vision, and no more waiting around for a third party. And that will make your creatives happy people. So go out! and make some friends. And don't forget to lead with empathy because at the end of the day, everyone wants to create better content and everyone wants to see your company win. Next up, we're gonna talk about how to anticipate your design resources and ensure the creative team has what it needs to get the job done. See you there.